the voice that used to loop in my head was, you ain't shit. You're fat, you're lazy, you're broke, you're from a broken home, you're from the hood, you're never gonna be nothing. I had teachers look me in my face and tell me that. I haven't vlogged. It feels like I haven't vlogged in forever. Welcome to the vlog, Brick Squad. I miss you guys. Why am I getting goosebumps right now, bro? Like bro, legit. Yeah. We're. Oh yeah, Bravo. Look, Bravo's over there. And I. Do, I do need to update them on. On some stuff. No, but all right. So first and foremost, we are. We moved offices. Let me move this. We moved offices and I have this set up, right? So I'm gonna be filming against this wall. You kind of see how it looks. Boom. Of course, with the lighting and all that. And then I have this little setup over here, part of my messy desk. We put some, what's that called, baby? Plant panel, panel boards back there against that wall. So I have this event tonight where I'm, I'm gonna be speaking. Can we bring Bravo? I don't know, no, baby. It's a brewery. Yeah, no, they serve food there. Yeah. So we can't bring we can't bring Bravo. I'm just trying to decide how drunk I should get. For real? Yeah, babe. Not yeah. drunk. <laughs> you just realized that was yeah, it was gonna be too that wasn't gonna work out. I'm I don't plan to get drunk, but I definitely wanna get a few drinks. We gotta go to the liquor store. Don't we're we gonna start vlogging now? Yeah, we're gonna vlog again. Yes. Yay. Let's go. Do, 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 do. The Bravo show. What the? Oh, yeah, guys. I forgot. I bought a BMW. Look. This is my babe right here. Bro. Hold on. Let me warm her up. Hold on. She is a 2001 E46 330 Ci. This is one of the cars that made me fall in love with cars when I was a, a young man. Always wanted her, got a sweet ass deal, bought her from a 70 year old judge who had her since brand new. I came up, y'all. Anyway, I'm about to run to the liquor store. <laughs> I got a bottle of bourbon, so I'm, I'm a bourbon guy. Now, I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. I am not an alcoholic. <laughs> I probably have about 10 drinks a month. That's about my that's about my average. But I know tonight I'm probably gonna need it because I've been working on this speaking thing and it just kind of takes the edge off of my nervousness when I step on stage. So that's the only reason why I'm like so adamant about getting some alcohol in my system tonight. But it's definitely gonna help. I'm gonna let you guys know exactly why I bought this car. See, I'm a car guy and I've been suppressing the inner car guy in me for the last few years because I wanted to be responsible financially. But like, look at her. She's gorgeous. So you guys know how insanely passionate I am about this message of wellness, this message of, of prioritizing exercise and nutrition because I know how it can change your life for the better. Everybody watching this right now, I don't care what shape your body is in. You guys know how passionate I am about getting this message to you. And I think a big way that I can fulfill my destiny, I hate to get all whimsical on you guys, is to, is to um, get on that stage. That's another way I can get this message to the world. To the, another way I can get people to wake up. Like that's, that's my whole, the whole thing, why I'm on social media, why I'm on YouTube is because I want people to wake up. I want you to know that there's nothing more important than taking care of your body. Plain and simple. There's nothing more important. And this journey of becoming more comfortable public speaking, this is, see, if, if, if it's one thing I learned and during my five years, six years of personal development is that normally the things that I want is on the other side of fears. 
So this public speaking thing is a fear of mine and I have to take it head on. I can't continue to run away from it. And I know on the other side of that is more impact, is, is freeing more people from the minds and bodies that they don't want. So tonight is another big stepping stone in that. You know, I get the bubble guts. Like, I got the bubble guts right now. Like, I'm awkward on the camera still. So imagine in a room full of people. So tonight, like I said, is going to be another stepping stone and getting me closer to um, the person who I, who I know that I was sent here to be. And I don't want to get all super deep on you guys, but it's, this is so much bigger than me. It's so much bigger than my family. This is, this is about he, the human race. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, I'm sounding super whimsical. I'm listening to myself right now like, yo, Brick, shut up. But I, I swear from the bottom of my heart, this means everything to me. So all the comments... Anyway, I'm not going to get I'm not going to get all mushy on you guys. I only had one drink. See, you say I'm such a lightweight. I'm starting to get all emotional. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys at the venue. All right, so we just got to the venue, and thank God, there's not a lot of people here, which is gonna help me relax a lot. And yeah. it's, it's because of the weather. It's raining outside. It's closer to hours, so we don't have a big turn. We don't have a big turnout. This is the same spot you spoke last time? Yeah, this is the setup. same place, yeah. Well, that's that's cool. Does that make you feel a little, like, it's a little better? Yeah, it, yeah. it does. So, I'll be right there on this stage. With a YouTube following of over 300,000 subscribers, Rich shares how he's lost over 100 pounds and kept in box. He is a coach, mentor, podcaster, husband, father, and his story has reached and inspired millions of people across the globe. We're so honored that you're here to share your story with us. Thank you. First and foremost, thank you for sh Hello? Hello? I'm so sorry. If you go like this, okay. because it works well, or if you go like this, if not, you are such See, a... See, I'm a rapper, so... Right. <laughs> but you no. have such a big presence, you might want to do... Okay, so I, I'm going to try this out, because it, it, the microphone wasn't working out for me last time, and I need the, I need the assistance, so... Thank you, first and foremost, for sharing your story. I'm going to put this away. Just a little background information. The lady who spoke before me lost her son to murder one year ago. So let's just chew on that for a second. Thank you so much because prior to me walking into this building, I had some stuff on my mind, right? Some stuff on my mind where like, I don't have, like, thank you. Just thank you because it freed me from what I thought I was dealing with, you know? So it, it means a lot yes. to us. So thank you. Okay, so today I wanna to talk about two things. Um, first thing is I, our identities. Our identities as human beings, your, your identity, your identity, your identity, and also setting intentions, the power of setting intentions. Right? And then I want to talk about how the power of setting intentions can relate to our identities, right? The power of specifying what, our, what we want our identities to be, okay? So, when I say identity, I mean the philosophy, the, the truths, the, the things that we, the, the voice that we play in our heads when it comes to who we are as a person, right? I know I'm not the only person that has this narrative in my head that tells me who I think I am, right? Who do you think you are, right? So my identity has changed over the years. So I'm gonna rewind back, like, like Lauren mentioned, about six years ago, I was 360 pounds. I was depressed, I was suicidal. You know, um, I was just in a really bad space. And the voice that used to loop in my head was, you ain't shit. You're fat, you're lazy, you're broke, you're from a broken home, you're from the hood, you're never gonna be nothing. I had teachers look me in my face and tell me that. So that, um, uh, along with everything else that was in my environment, created this identity, this loop 
that just played in my head. And my reality mirrored that, that voice. What I kept telling myself, I was broke, I was fat, I was lazy, I was never gonna be anything. And as long as that loop continued, that was creating my life. And one day, and I hate to oversimplify it, it wasn't one day. It wasn't one day, but let's just say one day, right? One day I woke up and I wanted to change my identity. I wanted to change that loop. I didn't like what that voice in my head was telling me. And I didn't like what it was creating, my reality. I didn't like it. So I decided to change my identity. I no longer was gonna be the depressed fat guy. I was no longer gonna be you know, the broke guy that can't, that can't keep his promises. I was no longer gonna be that guy. And slowly, as I changed my identity, my reality changed. I set clear intentions. I wanted to change my reality. I wanted to change my life. I wanted to change my body. And it started by changing my identity in my head, right? So the new identity was someone who lived with integrity, someone who kept his promises to himself first, someone who took care of his body, someone who was honest. These, these weren't true at the time, but this is, it started by telling myself in my head, like, this is who I am. It was a lie at first, you know? It was a lie at first, that's not who I was, but that's who I wanted to be. So I, I, I kind of went on this mission to brainwash myself. And as I kept telling myself this, it slowly started changing who I was and what my life looked like and what my body looked like. And uh, setting this intentionally was the key. It started with a decision, a decision. That's, it's, it started with a decision. That's it. I woke up, I made a decision. And then slowly, things started improving in my life. Now, I want to share one story, right? And I thought this was profound. Um, hopefully, it translates the way that it did in my head. So, I'm not a runner, right? So, I've never been a runner, but I enjoy running now. So, from time to time, when the weather permits, I'll run three miles. That's normally the max. I'll run three miles, and I feel like I did something, right? So one day, I don't know why, and this was a few weeks ago, I woke up, I said, you know what, today, I wanna run five miles. Now, three miles kicks my ass every time. Every time, but around mile two, I have to really coach myself to keep pushing for that last mile. Like, my body starts breaking down, I just wanna quit, I, I gotta poop, I gotta, I gotta pay bills, I gotta do everything on that last mile, right? So today, I, don't, I, I have no clue what made me set this intention. I said, you know what, I wanna push myself a little bit further today. So today I wanna run five miles. I hadn't run, I, I don't remember the last time I ran more than three miles, right? But I, made, I set this clear intention to run five miles today. So I'm running. I get to mile two, and normally, this is, this is when I start breaking down, mile two. And I felt like I just started for some reason. It's here. It was here. I set clear intentions in my mind, and my body followed. So mile three, I'm skating, I'm breathing, it's nothing. Mile four, I'm breathing. Mile four and a half, that's when it started kicking in, though, like. <laughs> All right, Bricks, you, you're trying to push it a little too hard, but I say all that to say, the, the power of our minds, you guys have no clue what happens when you make a decision, when you set an intention, and you just follow through. You persevere through everything. Like, I, I'm a dreamer. I'm, I'm the, the most whimsical, optimistic person you'll ever meet. You, there's nothing, and, and I believe in every one of you, the same way I believe in myself. I don't believe that I have any special abilities. I do not. 
I know I don't. So one part of my mission is to empower people and to use my story and my platform to just show people what's what's possible when you when you set clear intentions and you make a decision to to create your life. You can create it. Life design is a real thing. You know, so in my head, you know, when I when I started up to make this uh, fitness brand, I had no clue how I was going to do it. I was still 360 pounds when I made the decision. I don't know why in my, you know, I had this belief that I can do that, but now, five, six years later, it's a reality. And it, no matter how ludicrous it was at the time, I know it was that decision, it was that belief that brought me to this point now. There's no way that this kid, this welfare baby, was going to ever be a millionaire. I am now in position to be a millionaire in 2019. That's a, this is a real thing. So I say that, all that to say, do not let society dictate who you are. Create your own identity. Set a very clear intention and follow through. That's it. Thank you. How did it go, baby? How do you think? So really good. So the, I was telling you that the speech before, mm -hmm. you got your points across, but you're kind of shaky, but you still said A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to tell you this. And you did. But this time, you're like, I'm about to tell you about intention and like you're a little stronger with it. Mm -hmm. And you said point A and B. And then when you got to B, you're like, but let me tie this back into A. Mm -hmm. And people in the audience were like, Oh, so sequenced well. Yeah, and then you're like, and let me just wrap before you're like, okay, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Before you're like, let me just wrap it up with this, so mm -hmm. y'all really feel it. Mm -hmm. It was just more fluid. It was like, I don't know. It was just so good. So I forgot I was filming at one point. <laughs> needless to say, we just finished the event, and I can't even describe. I'm still kind of numb to it. I think I, I know by far that was the best speaking it i've was. ever done in, and you in front of a shaky, group were you no your I, voice wasn't shaky yeah it oh, wasn't man, it wasn't you're right I, I i feel like there's something bigger and i always say it's bigger than me working through me right now with this um mm -hmm. just the way that the whole thing has been unfolding the way that i've been getting calls for speaking engagements right when i told myself like yo i want to start speaking yeah, working on and it's, it's starting it's starting to happen and the way i start getting com more comfortable and more comfortable every single time i do it i don't know and it's only been a few times yeah this is you the know, third this is like the third I've time 30 speeches no nah, it's just the third time so let me ask you a real question mm -hmm. when i told you at the beginning of this i knew that was I coming know. but yeah. i really want to know your feeling now because when I told you you're supposed to speak in front of crowds, mm -hmm. your first intent was like, nah, I don't know if we're going to do all that. Yeah. I just know I'm trying to, how do you feel now? I know, I know um, better now to, um, never doubt your, your visions. Well, what no, you I'm saying, how do you feel now with like, you know what, this is the, one of the main paths for me, like speaking. Cause before you're like, oh, I might, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't think I was going to be a speaker because I was so afraid of it. So I, I know, but you're doing so good. So do you feel like this is going to be a great way to reach people? Like, I, yeah, you know, definitely. I, I definitely think it is. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog. Okay. We're going to uh, enjoy the rest of our evening. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and uh, go to bricksfitness.com. Yes. And support the channel. Support, support us. Support, support us. So he can keep doing these stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and as always, guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well. And get money.